Hello everybody and welcome to Organian's Puzzle Box. There is a video on YouTube that does not exist. It does not exist for many people who are looking for the solution of the problem presented in this video and basically resolved. So if you're using Blender and you want to export a VDB, there is a, a way for people to do that, to you know export as open VDB. And a lot of people know and show it on YouTube and you know how to do it. Basically, as long as you generate the VDB file inside Blender. So for example, maybe it's a, I don't know, a smoke simulation or a fire simulation or a cloud or something like that. Then you can actually export the VDB out of it using a technique that everybody has covered on YouTube videos so far. I've seen a dozen. But the problem is, what happens if you bring an external source a volume from an external source, maybe a VDB um, from, I don't know, a website that you bought it, and then you want to export it how do you do it? Like genuinely, like, does anybody know? I, mean, I, I genuinely have not seen any video or any content about this. I may be blind, maybe everybody else knows it and I don't, but I highly doubt it. I mean, I've asked around, most people have no idea how to export the VDB if it was not created inside Blender. So this tutorial will show you exactly how to do that. I'm also gonna go through how the other method goes about with the domain and the smoke and whatever and the simulation but that is covered extensively already on YouTube. So my tutorial is all about exporting a volume out of Blender that was not generated in Blender as a volume. Let's say you bring in a Houdini particle system or a point uh, cloud data and you want to turn it into a VDB and then you want to export it. Well, this video shows exactly that. And if you know how to solve a problem that I am presenting towards the end of the video, please leave a like, uh, please leave a comment in the section below and tell us how to do it. So yeah, thank you for watching and let's begin. Well, in many tutorials online, you will find this solution to, um, you know, basically export VDBs out of Blender. Basically, if you have a smoke domain and you're generating some form of a, an animation inside Blender, so let's say in this particular case, I'm just doing this smoke animation, Blender will automatically uh, be able to save this as a VDB. So if we go over here quickly into the particle uh, tab, sorry, in the physics tab, uh, down here, if we change this from type replay to all, then we're able to actually bake this volumetric data as open VDB. So if I actually go over here and press bake all, um, let me just press that button, then you'll notice that it has now created all of this stuff into this folder because that's where I'm saving the data. So if I go into data folder, here is every VDB from this sequence that we're seeing right here in the background. So basically it plays out from the first frame all the way to the last frame, and that's our VDB exported. That's all great, but that's a VDB generated by Blender using its own physics tools. But what if I want to export a VDB that's out of Blender or you know, just a VDB that I've brought into Blender, maybe now I've modified it and I do want to export it. Well, here's a project that has been presented to me by somebody who's um, doing a project for me and they basically send me this file and this file if I go over into cycles and actually center myself onto it so I can see it you'll notice here it's a point system right that has all of these you know like nice colors it's basically like a nebula right and it's using a geometry node to show it to me so you know it's getting the points it's setting a material for it and then it's exporting it as a you know an output as a geometry so i can actually see it here it's all nice and not you know fun to to play around with but the problem is that it's still you know points data that i can't actually use in unreal engine in the way that i want to so one thing that i can do is basically transform this into from you know from points to volume so i can type in here points to volume right and sorry not distribute points in volume i want points to volume so it says right there points to volume okay and then i'm going to plug this over into the geometry and this will turn this effect into actual uh into a volumetric into vdb effectively right and now i want to be able to export this now i can obviously refine it further and i do have that refinement down here so i'm going to show you uh, this is these are the settings that i've used in order to make it look better so Basically, I've done the voxel amount. Sorry, let me just 
place this right here into the points. So I've done the uh, voxel amount to 1024 with a rad radius of 0 0.2. And then if I plug this over into the geometry node, you can then see how that looks like, okay? So now we're getting the data of the density. We're not getting any color data, which is something that I'm not yet sure how to do, but if anybody has any idea, please let me know in the comments below because I'm definitely um, you know, interested in actually being able to see the color data and export it as well. But right now you can see here that we have an extra node called bake. So you just have to basically type in search and look for bake and that will give you this, right? So once you have this bake uh, system in, then you can export either an animation or a still. In this particular case, it's just a still image, right? And then we have this bake button here to press. But where is the bake going to go? Well, very importantly, if you go over here into the um, uh, physics, sorry, into the modifier stack, stack, you'll see in here you have a geometry node. Uh, basically, you'll have this node because you are using geometry nodes. So in whatever way you're doing this, you will have to use geometry nodes for this particular system. And I'll show you how this can work on a simple mesh as well. So the by default, this will be set to packed and you just want to set that over to disk, right? And then you want to make sure that this folder here is exactly where you want this uh, file to go. So in my, um, basically my example, I'm just going to put it into, uh, I've got a folder here. So I'm going to put it into this folder, right? I'm going to press accept and then I'm going to press bake. And now the system has baked it. Okay. And now you can see it's created this random number over here, a folder. So I'm going to go into that, go into, go into blobs. And here it is. The VDB file at 29 megabytes has been exported with exactly what you're seeing in the viewport right here. Okay. Now I was saying that you can do this with any particular type of system, any mesh or anything like that. So let me show you what I mean by this. So I've got this cube here that I'm going to be looking at. So let me just select the cube and uh, basically see it from very close. I'm just going to switch this over to this viewport and I'm going to delete this smoke domain so we no longer actually you know what I'm just going to I'm just going to create a new cube in there. Why the hell am I in the camera view? I have no idea. Don't ask me. Right okay so I'm just going to delete the smoke domain and now create a new cube. Make it quite large so we can see it. Now what I want to do is I want to create a new geometry node. So obviously we can add it from here. So we can type in geometry node like that, um, which right now has created this. I don't know. It doesn't matter. The, the whole point is just add a geometry node system. Nothing fancy, just a brand new one. Press the new button in there. And now you'll see that we have this created. Now what we want to do is we want to search for geometry to volume. Oh, sorry. Let me just type in volume. It's called mesh to volume, not geometry to volume. I always say geometry because that's how I see it. Anyway, and now you can see that we've effectively created geometry right here. And we, we turn the geometry into a volume and we can obviously play around with the density of this. And the same thing like what we did before, we can increase its resolution, so on and so forth, right? Your geometry can be anything. Like you can even add modifiers right now. So Let's just uh, have a look and do like, um, I don't know, like a like a screw, right? Or something like that. And then we can add this ahead of the geometry nose like that. Obviously, you, you're going to have to play around with these settings a bit more. I would deactivate the geometry node entirely so you can kind of see what you're doing there. You know, I'm just trying to create an odd looking screw here. And then we can turn on the geometry node again. And I'm going to select the cube, make sure that I am... Um, pretty much focused on the geometry node so I can see it again. And I'm going to crank up that density. So you can see there we've created the very odd shape of a, of a volume, right? Okay, but the same thing can be done here as well. You can type in bake, okay? And we're going to go over here where it says manage, go to bake, and then change this to disk. And I'm going to choose the same uh, folder that I did before. And then I can press bake. And when we have a look over here into our folder, you'll notice that a new folder with a new random number has been created. I'll go into blobs and here's our VDB. Now here's the thing, maybe you want to see this VDB back into Blender. Well, that's quite simple. So what you're going to do, let's just hide this whole system so we can't see it anymore. And I'm going to press Shift A and then search for a volume empty. And then in the volume empty, just go over to the data tab 
and then press this button over here and search for the folder in which you saved your VDB and then go to it, select the VDB and press accept. And voila, there is your VDB that you just exported. So that is a way to export VDBs out of Blender that I haven't actually seen it anywhere online. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe somebody did talk about this, but I'm sure a lot of people are not aware. So uh, yeah, there you have it. And just quickly, like I said before, one major caveat, for example, when trying to export things out of Blender, like uh, this particular point system here, you'll notice that in its uh, data folder, it has a radius, display color, position, starting position. Unfortunately, as of right now, I have no way of actually exporting anything but the density out of this, which is just reading from the radius uh, float here. Uh, I don't know how to export the color information and so on, even though this point system does have that data out of Houdini. So if anybody has any idea how to do this, please contact me in the comment section below or join my Discord server, and I'm hoping that we can find a solution together. And if you want to support the channel, please take a look at my content on Patreon, on the Fab Marketplace, our station or the Gumroad, and on Patreon, for the price of a coffee, you get access to 50 plus projects for you to play with, ranging from space scenes to world creation tools and skyboxes and all sorts of cloud systems and so on. But I hope you found that tutorial useful. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something today. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe if you did. Please let me know what you'd like to see in the future. And as always, keep creating and keep going. And also, I would like to say thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel. Uh, I couldn't do it without you guys. So yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial.